Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFurter.com with another Android app review. I'm really, really excited about today's review. This is an app I've been waiting to review ever since I started doing these reviews. Um, but I was waiting for a few updates to go through and then also just to get everything together because this is going to be one of the hardest reviews I've ever done because this app can do so much. So the app I'm reviewing today is called EVA, e -V -A, which stands for Executive Virtual, Virtual Assistant. Or there's also another version called AVX. There is another version called Evan, E-V-A-N. But EVA and Evan are essentially exactly the same app. The only difference between them is one of them uses a picture of a female if you decide to use the picture, and the other one uses a picture of a male if you decide to use the male. It doesn't affect anything else, though, because the voices are not connected to the app. <clears throat> Excuse me. You download the voices separately, and you can choose you can use female or male voices of either one. So that's the only difference between them. AVX is exactly the same uh, uh, program, app, exactly the same functionality, but uh, it has a sleeker uh, graphic uh, interface, graphic user interface. It's uh, more modern, a little more ice cream sandwich-ish. Um, it doesn't have a picture at all uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's geared to be a little bit more, um, I don't know, business-like, I guess. But uh, that's the only difference. Otherwise, all three are exactly the same as far as functionality and what they do. Now, I'm just going to go over a few of the reasons why I love this app, and then we're going to jump on my phone and I'm going to show you. Uh, one of the most amazing things is the way this app handles incoming and outgoing text messaging. Um, first of all, it works with Google Voice. And there are a lot of uh, other voice control apps or apps that are geared at reading your text messages to you that don't work with Google Voice. Well, this works with Google Voice. Google Voice, for those of you who don't know, it's free. Through Google, you get your own phone number, a local telephone number, and people can call you on it or text you to it. I don't use it for calling, but I do use it exclusively for texting because it's free. So why not? Then I don't have to pay Verizon. So uh, Google Voice is, is great for that, and Eva and AVX work with Google Voice. Um, but they also it also still works with your phone's SMS as well. And uh, it can work with incoming or outgoing. It works a lot of different ways. It's fully customizable as to how you want it to uh, read a text message to you, or do you want it to just read it? Do you want it to ask, let you know that who it's from, and then ask you if you want it to be read, or just let you know you have a text message, and then once it's read it, uh, you can reply. Um, which you'll see some of that. But anyway, it's it handles text messaging. Uh, hands-free better than any app on the market and that's just one of a million things it does um, everything about it is extremely customizable and I'm not going to be able to show you all of that because it would take too long but uh, just know that even what you see me do today you may see it being done a certain way and think well I'd want to do it differently there's a good chance that you can do it that other way um, because it's very the developer is uh, very uh, user aware and is very good about making sure that every user is taken care of by uh, you know, offering lots of different options to, to change the way it handles things. Um, also, uh, as far as the voices go, um, a lot of people use SVox. I believe the developer himself recommends SVox. Uh, personally, I like Ivana better, and that's what you'll hear on my phone today, is uh, I have an Iv Ivana female Australian voice. Um, I like the accent. It, uh, I don't know, I think because it has an accent, it makes it sound even more natural because that's not my natural accent or language uh, necessarily. Um, also, SVox, uh, not, you know, I hate to ruin anyone's parade, but if you've ever tried to contact SVox customer service, it's, it's worthless. Uh, I tried to contact them for a month, uh, several different times, and never got any response whatsoever. Ivana, on the other hand, is completely free right now because it's in beta, it's been in beta for six months, but it's free and if I had a question for them, even not a problem, just a question, they respond within 24 hours. So anyway, that's my plug for Ivana as far as voices go. Um, but it will work with whatever voice, uh, uh, text-to-speech voice engine you put on your phone. Um, also, the email feature uh, and the calendar feature can integrate with Microsoft Exchange. Now, there may be other apps out there and other voice control apps that will work a little bit with email, 
but how many of them will also integrate with Microsoft Exchange? Or how many uh, voice controlled calendar apps let you interact with Microsoft Exchange? This one does. Um, it also has Evernote integration for those of you who use Evernote. Um, and it also has a Tasker integration. That's the biggest thing ever and it's so big that I'm not even going to demonstrate it in this review. I'm going to do another review in the next week or so that is going to be specifically a review just about the power of combining Tasker with a Eva or AVX. So that's to come. But uh, I just wanted you to know how, you know, this developer isn't just, you know, he's not just developing his app to work for him and work for certain things. He's also developing it to work with other apps that people use like Evernote, like Tasker, Microsoft Exchange at your office. Um, it, there's just so many things it can do. Uh, one of the things that you will want to know is that uh, one, uh, this app doesn't have servers. This is a sole developer who has developed this app. So unlike uh, say a Siri app where uh, with Apple you say something uh, your phone sends what you say to Apple's um, warehouse of computers. Those computers take what you said and translate it into possible text of what they think you said. And then those options are sent probably over to another warehouse full of computers, which sole job is to take the, the, poss the maybe five possibilities of what you might have said and figure out which one makes the most sense and what you're looking for. Um, this app doesn't have that backup of servers. It uses Google's speech to text. So when you say something, it gets sent off to Google servers. Google servers then send back anywhere from one to six possibilities of what it thinks you said. But then everything else is done on the phone. The app on the phone is left to figure out uh, what, uh, what you meant by those possibilities. Uh, because of that, you do have to use uh, specific commands, and there is a, a little bit of a learning curve to learn all the specific commands. But as you're going to see with uh, what I'm doing today, once you learn them, I mean, it's just mind-boggling how much you can do. But I think that is important to know that the speech-to-text is handled by Google, not by this app. So it's not the app's fault if Google doesn't understand what you're saying. And then secondly, the app is using, you know, it's like a think a 12 megabyte app and that little 12 megabyte app on your phone is figuring out what you mean and what you need based on what Google returns as a speech to text. Um, just so you know, there's no way for me to show everything this app can do on a review. If I did, it would be like a 10 hour review. Um, as it is, I'm going to have a hard enough time just trying to keep this under an hour. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it to 30 minutes, but that's probably impossible. And like I said, I'm not even going to be showing you everything it can do. Um, there's just no way, but the developer does have a YouTube channel and has probably 15 to 20 hours of videos you can watch, especially if you want to see how to do a specific thing or various settings, because I'm not going to be able to go into the settings, and I'm going to try my best in doing this review not to talk to you uh, and explain things, um, because I just wouldn't have time to do that and get through all the things I want to show you. So I'm strictly going to use the app. I'm just going to give commands and let you see what the app does. And, uh, you know, I may say a word or two here or there, probably, because as you probably know, if you watch my reviews, uh, I'm, a, I'm a talker. But uh, I'm going to try my best not to do that too much, because uh, otherwise it'll just go too long. Speaking of which, let's get to it. I'm going to hop on my phone. Uh, I'm going to bring up the app and uh, uh, demonstrate just all the various things it can do. I'm just going to run through all a lot of different commands and you'll just get to see it in action. Which usually when you're considering buying an app, that's what you want to see more than anything else anyway, is just see it in action. And then if you want to know more about the settings, you can uh, of course uh, check out the uh, developers videos or, uh, or go to their website. Anyway, let's get on my phone and get to what you're waiting for. Android, what's the weather like? Current conditions for Signal Hill at 12.14 p.m. are sunny with a temperature of 71 degrees and humidity of 62%. Wind is from the south at 8. Open Gmail. Opening Gmail. Captain, incoming message. 
new text received from Google Voice. Would you like to hear the message? Yes. Hey, I hope the Ava review goes well and that you don't talk too much. Would you like to reply to this message? Yes. New message to Google Voice. Go ahead. If you mess up, you can always start over. If you mess up, you can always start over. Again. The last sentence was removed. Ready for a retry or say done. You can also add sentence by sentence. You can also add sentence by sentence. You just keep adding to the text. You just keep adding to the text. When you're done, you say finished. When you're done, you say finished. Or to cancel. Or to cancel. Cancel. I have cancelled this text message. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm happy to help you. Enable Bluetooth. Bluetooth is on. Open email. Opening Gmail. Open email. Opening email. Android, send a text to Joe. New message to Joe Orway. I'm Joe Orway. Go ahead. It was great seeing you the other day. It was great seeing you the other day. Finished. Your message has been sent to Joe Orway. I'm Joe Orway. Your settings are displayed. Tap on any setting to toggle through the event. What is the new wake up phrase or name you want to call me by? Wonder Woman. Tap on the item you would like for the wake up phrase or select the last item to try saying it again. My wake up phrase is now Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yes, Super Ninja. Call me Eric. Please confirm that you would like me to call you errors by saying confirm. Cancel. I have cancelled this change. Call me Eric. Please confirm that you would like me to call you Eric by saying confirm. Confirm. I will now refer to you as Eric. Thanks. It's my pleasure. Wonder Woman. Yes, Eric. Open settings. Launching settings. Disable Bluetooth. Bluetooth is off. Wonder Woman. Yes, Eric. Display settings. Your settings are displayed. Tap on any setting to toggle through the available options. I'm going to turn off the wake up phrase that I've been using and that's how you're completely hands free. You just say whatever the phrase is that you've set up and uh, it responds to that. Or if you have uh, extra wake functions on as I do, then you don't even have to say the phrase. You can just say open or enable and it recognizes that, that means it needs to do something. Yes, Eric. Send a text to Thomas. New message to Thomas Mark. Go ahead. Where are you right now? Question mark. Where are you right now? Finished. Your message.
message has been sent to Thomas Mark. Of course, I'm sending that to myself. So it will come through to my own phone in just a second. Captain, incoming New message. text received from Google Voice. Would you like to hear the message? Captain, incoming message. No. Okay. Yes, Eric. Reply to last text. New message to Google Voice. Go ahead. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Cancel. I have cancelled this text message. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, if you want to call a person who has texted you, then when you have, after uh, Eva reads the text, you can then just say call or call on speakerphone and it will call them back. Yes, Eric. Show Thomas where we are and also, you better get here soon. Yes, Eric. Show Thomas where we are and also tell him you better get here soon. As you can see, this is Google returning the wrong information. It's returning sure instead of show. So it won't read that. That's just Google speech text engine. Yes, Eric. Show Thomas where we are and also tell him you better get here soon. Yes, Eric. Show Thomas where we are and also tell him you better get here soon. Finally, Google Voice speech to text got it right, so this will create a text message. Please confirm that you want to tell Thomas Mark where we are by saying confirm. Confirm. You know, see what it I looks like. I have sent a message to Thomas Mark detailing our current location. Because this is going to come through to me, of course, and you'll see. Yeah, and includes new text received from Google Voice. Would you like to hear the message? Yes. Right now I am at this location. Tell him you better get here soon. I am displaying the location that was included in the message. Would you like to reply to this message? No. Okay. So as you can see, it read the message to me. It also is opening up the location because uh, I told it. So that's something Eva does. And if the person on the other end has Eva or AVX, then when they get the message, Eva will open up the location automatically, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, also, as I mentioned in the intro to this review, you can use uh, Eva or AVX for creating emails. And it also works with Microsoft Exchange or your phone email. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I don't use it for email. But it... Uh, Works similarly to text, uh, a little bit different because obviously generally emails are longer, but um, that's how it works. Yes, Eric. Wake me up in one minute. Your alarm wake up in one minute has been set. Wake me up every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Your alarm wake up on Thursdays weekly beginning June 7th at 8 o'clock a.m. has been set. Set my alarm for tomorrow at 7.15 a.m. Your alarm on June 7th at 7.15 a.m. has been set. Display my alarms. Your alarms are displayed. Tap on any alarm to remove it. So you can see, you can always list your, your alarms. If you select one of these, then it will uh, remove it. Um, you might have noticed I said every Wednesday, uh, and it set it up for every Thursday. That is a bug. The developer knows about it. And this is what happens when the alarm goes off. And I have it set up to start low and get louder. You can set it up however you want. And you can set whatever song you want to play uh, when it plays. Um, but, uh, yeah, the developer knows about that bug. He's going to be fixing it soon, uh, just so you know. But uh, it will... It only affects alarms. It doesn't happen with reminders. It's just a bug in the alarms, but it'll be fixed soon. Yes, Eric. Delete number two. The 
alarm has been removed. Remind me on Thursday at 3 p.m. that the season finale of Battlestar is on. Choose the best match for your reminder. Your reminder at the season finale of Battlestar is on on June 7th at 3 p.m. has been set. Yes, Eric. Remind me in 20 minutes that this review is getting too long. Please choose the best match for your reminder. Yes, Eric. Select one. Your reminder distribute is getting too long in 20 minutes has been set. Yes, Eric. Remind me on June 9th that it is almost Kim's birthday. So as you can see, these are all the possibilities that Google's uh, speech to text engine has returned. And so Eva's going through them looking for one that makes sense to Eva or AVX, which will be this one. Please choose the best match for your reminder. Your reminder is it almost Kim's birthday on June 9th at 1.56 p.m. has been set. Yes, Eric. Remind me every Friday at 8.30 a.m. to put the garbage out. Please choose the best match for your reminder. Your reminder put the garbage out on Fridays weekly beginning June 8th at 8.30 a.m. has been set. Yes, Eric. Display reminders. In the next week, your agenda contains the following nine items. Yes, Eric. Disable Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi's off. Enable Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi's on. Enable Silent Mode. Disable silent mode. Silent mode is off. Yes, Eric. Launch Yahoo. Yes, Eric. Launch Yahoo. Yahoo. Yes, Eric. Open Skyfire. Launching Skyfire. Of course, a lot of apps have really weird uh, names that. Uh, Eva or AVX wouldn't recognize. So you can also list all of your apps and then press on one and assign a custom uh, name to it, something that it can understand. Um, also, uh, Google Voice Search is a special case because obviously when Voice Search launches, you want it to launch but be able to listen to you. So uh, Eva knows that. So when you launch, you see whenever you launch something, she announces it, but not when you do Voice Search. Uh, if you launch Voice Search, then it opens Voice Search and then you can speak right into Voice Search. In case you want to open voice search because you like something that it does maybe better than the way uh, Eva does it. Yes, Eric. Open voice search. And you can see Google's now listening. I could give a navigation or a text command or something like that if I wanted to use voice search for that. You can also search uh, for things uh, through your internet browser. Yes, Eric. Google images of French Bulldogs. Please choose the best match for your search. Locating. Now you see some images. 
the voice gets interrupted. That's because uh, has nothing to do with has nothing to do with Eva. Has to do with the, uh, the the voice engine that I'm using, and mainly with my phone. I think because I have a uh, I don't have a ton of RAM on my phone, so it's needing some of the RAM, and I only have a single core processor, so it has a hard time doing multiple things at one time. But uh, if you have a better phone, then you're not going to have that issue. Yes, Eric. Yes, Eric. Search Amazon for Android tablet. Please choose the best. Looking on Amazon for Android tablet. Let's see. Pulls up the results. Yes, Eric. Search Wikipedia for Memorial Day. And see, opens it right up to Wikipedia with the search results. Searching for Memorial Wikipedia Day. for Memorial Day. It's a great, quick way to get any information you want. Yes, Eric. IMDB, The Avengers. Once it establishes that it knows that is what you want, you can see it opens right up, opens IMDb so, with the search for the Avengers. Searching IMDb for the Avengers. Now there are certain apps. Uh, it can also, uh, for the internet search, you can also do Wolfram, Dictionary, and Wiktionary. And then there are certain apps that it can search directly inside of. Yes, Eric. Search eBay for Android tablet. Please choose the best match for your search. Looking on eBay for Android tablet. And see, it's not opening up a browser, it's opening up my actual uh, eBay app. Yes, Eric. Search YouTube for auto-tune the news. See, opens up YouTube. Looking for auto tune the news on YouTube. Straight to auto tune the news videos on YouTube. And of course, yes, Eric. Search Android Market for After Focus. It wouldn't be an, an Android app if it couldn't search on the Android Market. Please choose the best match for your search. Yes, Eric. Select one. Looking for up to focus on Android market. So there you go. Opens it right in the Android market for you. And as you can see, you can press your selection or you can just hit the speak bubble and then say select and the number. Now I'm going to demonstrate the calendar. Yes, Eric. What's on my agenda this week? This week your agenda contains the following nine items. One app to 15 p.m. distribute is getting too long. Two on June 7th at 3 p.m. at the season finale of Battlestar is on. Three on the... Anytime you want her to stop reading something, you uh, just hit the red section and it will stop. I say her because this is a female voice, but you could just as well switch the voice to a male voice. Yes, Eric. What's on my agenda for July? Your agenda for July contains the following 15 items. 1 on July 6th at 8 o'clock a.m. put out the trash. 2 on July. So as you can see, it'll list everything for July and read it. And you can also be specific. You can say, you can give a specific date. What's on my agenda for July 12th or, you know, whatever you want to say. Yes, Eric. New calendar entry. 
say finish now or at any time to complete this event. I have calendar entry for the title of this event. Say okay if you want to keep this or save a new title. Pizza Hut Friday night. Pizza Hut Friday night. Say again. Select cancel or done. Done. Please give me the name of the next attendee or done. Done. What is the location or say skip? Pizza Hut in Hollywood. Pizza Hut in Hollywood. Say again. Select cancel or done. Done. What is the date and start time? Friday at 6.30 p.m. What is the duration or say or day or instead say the end date and time? Two hours. If you would like this to be recurring, say daily, weekly, monthly, yearly or skip. Skip. Tell me how early beforehand you want to be reminded or say skip. Five hours. What is the first sentence of the description of the event? Russell's birthday party. Russell's birthday party. Say the next sentence or say select. Again, cancel or done. Done. Pizza Hut Friday night on June 8th at 6.30pm has been set. So you can see I created the calendar entry. I also set a reminder for it. Um, you can include or exclude whatever details you want. If you add people to the entry, then it will automatically send them, um, I believe, an email of the event. So you wouldn't want to add people in it unless you wanted to notify them. But if you're planning something and you want to email everybody, then you can do that as well. And it also works with Microsoft Exchange, which is pretty cool if you use Microsoft. Yes, Eric. At 3 p.m., activate flashlight. Your action activate flashlight on June 6th at 3 p.m. has been set. Thanks. My pleasure. I'm happy to help you. What's great is that not only can you set reminders and alarms for certain times, any action or function that uh, Eva can do, you can set it to be done at a particular time. Yes, Eric. On June 1st at 10 a.m., text Thomas, hey, what's up? Whenever you see a yellow bubble, that means Eva's thinking. Uh, or AVX, it's, it's processing the information to set up whatever it needs to set up. Green bubble means speak. Red bubble means don't talk. I'm not ready yet. And yellow bubble means I'm thinking. Please choose the best match for your action. Your action text Thomas, hey, what's up on June 1st at 10 o'clock a.m. has been set. And you can also set recurring actions. Yes, Eric. Every Sunday at 10.30 a.m., enable silent mode. Your action enable silent mode on Sundays weekly beginning June 10th at 10.30 a.m. has been set. Thanks. My pleasure. So basically, any anything you can do, you can set it up to be done on a, a specific date, a specific time. You can use tomorrow. You can also set it up recurring, um, you know, yearly or weekly or monthly. You can also look up information using Eva or AVX. Yes, Eric. Look for furniture. I found the following listings for furniture. And it'll list, if there are any reviews, it'll give you the reviews. You can hit the phone to call. If you tap on the information, then it drops down and will show you the phone number as well as you can go to, the, to it on a map. You can open navigation automatically or you can share it with somebody. Yes, Eric. Look up a body repair shop. I found the following listings for body repair shop. Same thing, of course, it's looking for places that are close to me. Yes, Eric. Locate a convenience store. I found the following listings for convenience store. But if you want to look for something that's not close to you, you can do that too. Yes, Eric. 
find me a burger near LAX? I found the following listings for burger and lax. Again, you hit that, and you have the options for the map or navigation or share. Yes, Eric. Look for furniture in Lakewood. I found the following listings for furniture in Lakewood. So as you see, it's finding furnitures that are near a specific place. Yes, Eric. Look for movies in 90210. I found the following listings for movies, Indiana 90210. The reason it said Indiana is because the uh, voice engine I'm using, anytime it sees IN followed by a zip code, it assumes the IN is a, is a state abbreviation. It's nothing to do with EVA, but that's what the voice engine thinks. But it is, as you can see, they're in the 90210 area code. I mean, zip code. If you know where that is, then you would know that. Yes, Eric. Look for Mexican food around 90755. You now like that post. Sometimes it confuses, or Google's speech to text confuses, look for like. Yes, Eric. Look for Mexican food around 90755. I found the following listings for Mexican food, Indiana 90755. And as you can see... Eric, I am reminding you, distribute is getting too long. Haha, <laughs> that's my reminder I set up earlier. And as you can see, it has uh, does have reviews, does show the stars, if, if it has reviews. Yes, Eric. I'm hungry. I found the following listings for restaurants. Yes, Eric. I'd like a pizza. I found the following listings for pizza. You can also map locations directly. Yes, Eric. Find Ralph's. Right now, Eva's thinking. Again, the faster, the better your phone, the faster these things are going to be. My phone is two years old. I have low memory. Loading map of Ralph's. And uh, I only have 512 megabytes of memory and a 1 gigahertz single core processor. So if you have a better phone, these things are going to happen a lot faster for you than they are for me. Hopefully, I'll have a new phone soon. But as you can see, uh, I told it to find Ralph's, so it's finding the nearest Ralph's and locating it on a map for me. Locate McDonald's. Now this is a syntax thing. If you say locate a McDonald's, then it would Loading find of McDonald's. a list of McDonald's for you. But when you say locate McDonald's, you're telling it to find it on a map. Also, just so you can see, that reminder, whenever you get a reminder, she, uh, Eva or AVX not only says the reminder, but it also will put that in your notification, which will stay there until you dismiss it. Yes, Eric. Map of El Pollo Loco. Yes, Eric. Where am I? Loading map of our location. Yes, Eric. 
navigate to fresh and easy navigating to fresh and easy so if you say navigate it'll open up the place and uh, you know if I were to choose this, which is close to me, then it would navigate there. Yes, Eric. Navigate to church. Now you can set up locations. Navigating to church. Your own locations inside of Eva or ABX. And the reason it knows where church is is because that is a location I have previously set up. Yes, Eric. Get directions. Please tell me the place name or address you would like directions to. Macon, Georgia. Macon, Georgia. Next part, select again, cancel or done. Done. Getting direct. So, to Macon, Georgia. So as you can see, you can just say get directions and then you can uh, piece by piece give an address or the name of a place and then it'll get directions for you once you're finished. Yes, Eric. Navigate to Jake's house. Navigating to Jake's house. And so this is uh, if you have a contact in your uh, uh, address book and you have an address, you can just say navigate to their house and it'll open up navigation to their house. Yes, Eric. Update my Facebook status. Please tell me the new Facebook status update you would like to make. I'm doing a review of Eva and AVX right now. I'm doing a review of Eva and ATX right now. Say the next sentence or say select. Again, cancel. Editor done. Again. The last sentence was removed. Ready for a retry or say done. I'm doing an Android app review of Eva and AVX right now. I'm doing an Android app review of Eva and Debat right now. Say the next sentence or say select. Again, cancel. Editor done. Edit. Please make your changes and press done. So, if you're having a hard time getting the Google Speech to Text to understand you, then you can come in here and edit your Facebook status update has been posted yes Eric post on Victoria's wall please tell me the new wall post you would like to make just saying hello. Just saying hello. Say the next sentence or say select. Again, cancel. Editor done. Done. Please confirm that you want to post this message by saying confirm. Confirm. Your wall post has been posted on Victoria Lanard Artiles wall. Yes, Eric. Check Facebook. This way you can have Eva or AVX read your news feed to you. And previously you could see I posted on a friend of mine's wall. Um, I updated I my Facebook status. I found 10 new posts. And you can change how new many Facebook posts Facebook post by Shelley Negri today at 9.55 a.m. I found Nimo. Would you like to comment, view photo or like it? Comment. Please tell me the new comment you would like to make. I don't think that's how you spell it. I don't think that's how you spell it. Say the next sentence or say select. Again, cancel. Editor done. Maybe that's Nemo's long lost twin. Maybe that Nemo's long lost twin. Say the next sentence or say select. Again, cancel. Editor done. Done. Please confirm that you want to post this message by saying confirm. Confirm. Your comment has been posted. 
So you see, completely just using my voice, I made a post in response to uh, my friend's post. New Facebook post by Patrick Cowden today at 10.07 a.m. I choose to be a gracious nonconformist. Would you like to comment on this post or like it? Like. You now like that post. New Facebook post by Charlie Nash today at 10.07 a.m. I may not be perfect in a lot of ways, but I am perfect because my imperfections make me perfect in my own way. Would you like to comment on this post or like it? Stop Facebook. Remaining messages discarded. So that's how you can go through, uh, like if you're driving and you want to just, you know, have it read your uh, news feed to you. Also, if there were a picture there, then it would also ask me if I wanted to view the picture. And if I say view, then it opens up the picture, uh, just in, in, like in your gallery. So you can view the picture, and then when you go back, to the, go, when you go back from the picture, then uh, it'll continue on. Um, and there's uh, a lot of other different configurations you can do with Facebook um, that I don't have time to go into, but it's very extensive. Yes, Eric. Display my friend Russell's information. Russell Schnabel, wall posts, 314, profile URL, Facebook. So again, you can bring up information like that. Also, as far as the news feed goes, within Eva, you can decide which of your friends you want to include or ignore from, from the feeds she'll read. So if there's people that annoy you, they post stuff all the time, or they're not really a friend of yours, you can have Eva ignore those. Yes, Eric. What is my friend David Christian's birthday? October 16th, 1964. Thanks. You're welcome, Eric. Yes, Eric. Display friends named David. The friends containing David are displayed. To have me name them, just ask. So see, there are friends I have that have David in it. And if you tap on one, it'll open up the information. Like I said, there's a lot of other things you can do. One of the cool things, and I have this set up so that every morning at a certain time, whatever time you want to set it up during the day, uh, Eva comes to the front and announces uh, what friends have birthdays that day and asks me if I'd like to post on their wall. And I can do it, of course, all by my voice. Yes, Eric. Post a tweet. Please tell me the first sentence of the new Twitter update you would like to make. Working on a new Android app review for Eva and AVX. Select the item you would like for this tweet. Working on a new Android app review. Say the next sentence or say select. Again, cancel or done. It's for my favorite app, Eva and AVX. Select the item you would like for this tweet. It's for my favorite app, Eva and Ox. Say the next sentence or say select. Again, cancel or done. Done. You need to allow me to post this update. So, first you do have to set it up with Twitter, uh, which I had previously done, but I reset a bunch of stuff on my phone, so apparently it erased it. But once you have that set up, you can post to Twitter as well as uh, Facebook.